everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. Just let me move again, my lighting is not very good. That's, that's about as good as it's gonna get. So hey everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. I'm gonna wait for a few more to join us. I'm sorry I'm a little late. I know I said I was gonna go live at two. However, I literally just received a package just as we were about to go live and I wanted to open it because I knew what was in it and I thought that I would share it with you guys on the stream. So, um, hi Aquarium Show, hi Brandy, Demi says hi. So I'm gonna wait, like I say, just for a few more to come in. Today's video is gonna be a bit more of a story time. We had something happen uh, with one of our beta fish that we have never ever had happen before and I just wanted to tell you guys about it so I'm just going to wait for a few more to come in hey Paul Aquatic Express hi thank you all for joining us I know this is not our normal time with our live streams we're a little bit all over the place I just do them when I can so hi Alicia from Liverpool hey again <laughs> glad you could join us yeah it's about how what time is it in in the UK now let's see um, it's two here, so seven o'clock. Um, hi from India, wow, hey Jenna. Okay guys, so I am so glad that you could join us all. And like I just said, I received a really exciting package in the mail today. We are gonna be doing a giveaway uh, contest in the next video, which will be out on Monday. So if you want to know how to uh, be entered, then make sure that your notifications are on and you check out that video. We are gonna be doing it um, with another channel. And so today I actually received the item that we're gonna be giving away. It will be international as well. For, there will be five prizes. First prize will be just USA only, but the second prize, third and fourth and fifth prize will be international. So, um, so yeah, so that is really exciting. I also received today these stickers in the mail that we have just had done. This is, I don't know whether you can see that okay. This is our new logo. Um, we've been working on it for a while. And so this is the logo that we've just had done. And yes, <laughs> woohoo international. Yes, it will be international. But yeah, this is gonna be our new logo, I think. We're still sort of maybe tweaking it a little, but um, I'm really liking this one and we had this one printed and I am gonna talk about it more in the giveaway video. So I'm not gonna go too much into depth with it right now. Anyway, getting on to story time. Let me just turn the camera around so as I can show you the tank. Okay, so this is our divided tank and we have Bandit here on the left and then Theo who I can't find right now. I'm sorry about the glare. Let me let me maybe close the blinds. That might be a little better. There we go, that's better. Um, I can't see Theo. Oh, there he is, he's down there. So this is our divided tank and this tank has been set up for a little on two years and we've always made our own lids, which is up here. And they have like the little feeding holes in the top here. And the other night I was lying on the bed, in fact, I was actually answering uh, comments on YouTube and I just heard this noise and I looked over and I saw all these like bubbles sort of coming down here. And I didn't think anything of it. I sort of heard a bit of a, a, a noise as if maybe, you know, he'd, one of them had hit the top of the tank or something, but couldn't see anything. Carried on what I was doing. And then the next thing was, I out the corner of my eye saw one of them flapping around on here and by the time I got myself off the bed and over here they had gone down the back and basically ended up on the floor and it was this guy here had jumped through needless to say it is covered now this tiny hole he managed to get through this tiny little hole I mean the odds of jumping through a hole that tiny on a full lid tank is just <laughs> crazy. We have never ever had a fish before, ever. So I'm gonna cover it over again because obviously I don't want him doing it again. We have never had a fish ever jump, ever. We've never had a single beta jump or want to jump or whatever. So I am then freaking out that there must be something wrong with the tank, there must be something wrong with the water quality. So. 
I start testing it and the tank is perfect. Everything is absolutely perfect. Yes, we were extremely fortunate because had I not been here, then obviously he would not have survived because I was literally on my way out. Um, I, would, I was due to go out about half an hour beforehand and um, our friends were coming a bit later than originally planned and so I actually would have been out and not found him so I was so thankful that they were running late and that I was here so he isn't looking I don't know whether you can really see it but he's not looking too wonderful um, his fins are a little torn up you can see from his tail fin there he's a little torn up he did lose a lot of his colouring, even though he was literally out of the water for mi not even a minute, because like I say, I was over here so, so quickly. <laughs> he looks guilty. Yeah, he, he doesn't like the camera, funny enough. He's, he's a funny fish. Um, whenever he sees, oh, here he comes. He's making a liar out of me now. But anyway, I am so thankful that um, he, you know, I was here and I was able to put him back in the tank. I checked all the water parameters and they are just perfect. In fact, they're, they're, I say they're better than perfect. That's not possible. But everything was zero, which basically means that the nitrate level in here is so low that the plants are just pulling it out the water. And so, you know, obviously there's none in there. So everything was just perfect. So he is obviously just very mischievous. He is quite an active fish. Um, so I don't know whether that's got anything to do with it, but needless to say, we're going to have to come up with something else because I can't leave the pot on the top. I don't want to risk uh, forgetting to put it there. So I think we're probably going to cut maybe a little piece of foam and put it into the hole and then I can open it up. But I mean, when you see how tiny that is, you've got to wonder how he even got through it. Just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, I am very pleased he did survive. And without a scratch, well, I don't know about without a scratch, he really was. Um, he, he looks a lot better now because this happened, I think it was about four or five days ago. And he, uh, yeah, he's still looking a little, you know, uh, be, be, bedraggled, I guess is how I would put it. But uh, what, what was that? I missed that comment. Let me just see that. Wow, I have a bigger top hole in my top two. It's bigger than yours. I need to cover it. Yeah, I we, like we've been using these lids now for probably about close on two years and we have never, ever had anything like that happen. So obviously I do need to do something because I don't want to risk anything happening to them again. So um, totally crazy totally crazy so I did look up about them jumping and why they jump and you know I was worried that it was water parameters or that he was stressed or whatever but he is such a chill fish that I just you know there's no sort of fin clamping or anything like that going on this is the one that's on the other side to him and uh, again he is probably the most chill fish we own this one he just uh, glides around the tank all day and try a cloth cup cover yeah yeah i could maybe do something like that i do need to come up with something because i just don't want uh, anything obviously to happen now that it has happened um and i didn't know he was a jumper because it's not something he's ever done before i mean we've had him uh, about six months now seven months something like that and never had an issue so just totally crazy so there we go. There's our story time for our jumping beta fish. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below when uh, uh, this video goes up. You'll have to let me know if you've had issues like that as well, because for us, this is the first time we've ever had a beta fish jump. So it was quite a shock really uh, to see that. So, all right, so let me see. Uh, can you see the fright? No, not at the moment. I am actually in the process of moving the tanks around and changing stuff up. So today we are just in this room with the tanks in here. I tell you what, let me show you the guppies. We have got so many fry in this tank now. Just look at all those fish. Absolutely crazy. I know these were not the fry you wanted to see, but they are fry. So Thank you very much, Bryce. That's very kind of you. I want to say thank you for the 20,000 subscribers. That to me is totally crazy. So thank you for all the, the support that you give to us. 
So yeah, this is our guppy fry tank um, and the shrimp as well. I don't know whether you can see all the shrimp on the on the thing. Yeah, the blue one, that's actually the female. And then this is the dad of all the babies right now. And then this crazy one here is one of the full grown adults. The rest we've actually sold. And then this is sort of the next batch on the way up. So we're gonna have a lot for sale in probably the end of January, beginning of February. I'm a little nervous about shipping during the winter months, but we have done it a few times and it has gone okay. So I think that uh, we will probably continue uh, to ship. So when will we, when will we be selling more beta babies? Um, the be betas won't be ready until March, April uh, next year. So they've got a long way to go. They're only very, very young right now. So they have got a long way to go. And um, I did actually count them the other day because we were um, changing things up and I had 36. So um, assuming all 36 survive, then we, we've got 36 right now. So. Um, so for those of you that have just tuned in, I was saying at the beginning of the video that we are going to be doing a giveaway um, on our next video, which will be on either Monday, Tuesday, I'm not sure which yet, and we're going to be doing, it's international, first prize will be USA only, but then the other ones are going to be, um, are going to be international and you've possibly seen what we're going to be giving away around YouTube already. There's quite a lot of videos on them right now. The other thing that we did have done just recently was some stickers with our new logo on and I don't know whether that shows up very well at all but this is going to be our new logo and so we've literally had these done and they came in the mail today so um, so that's what we're, we'll go out also with the giveaway prizes as well. So, um, all right, I have a question. Are the aquarium lids glass or acrylic? These are acrylic. Um, we, the only glass one we have is on the 75 gallon and that's because it basically came with the tank. Uh, otherwise we make all our own lids and they're all acrylic, including the goldfish one. We made the goldfish one as well. We do have a video on that um, if uh, you wanna take a look. Uh, how are they not bowing? They do, um, they do bow. I don't know whether you can see it on this one here. You can see it's sort of bowed up slightly and then all I do is every time I do a water change, I just flip it over and we just start again. So it's not an issue at all. Um, as long as obviously you're just flipping them over. So um, just keep flipping over. I, I would say every time we do a water change or may maybe every two weeks, uh, I do that and it's just, it's not an issue at all. Uh, I think they're great lids. They're very easy to clean as well. So, all right, let's have a look at um, some of the questions in the, um, let's have a look. Will you, oh, I missed that one, where did it go? Will you ship the beta fry once they're ready to Canada? No, we can't ship outside the USA. It gets very difficult with regulations and, and that sort of thing. So it just gets way too complicated. So it would be within the USA only. So I am so sorry about that guys, but it's just, you know, like I say, it gets way too complicated once you go outside of the UK. So how many dividers for a 10 gallon? Um, how many dividers would you put in? The most I would do is two, creating like three sections, but personal preference, just the one um, I would do. I wouldn't do really any more than that, but a lot of people, you know, when they're buying them, we do sell a two pack, and so they do buy two, but I wouldn't do any more than two, which would create sort of three sections, which is about three gallons per, per divider. But I do think that the, um, I do think that the because this is a 10 gallon tank and I do think that you know they've then got so much space which obviously is ideal so um, I wouldn't do personally I wouldn't do more than that however we do have uh, plans for uh, the breeding ones we're going to try something out very very different with that but that's way down the line from now so uh, okay what's this one uh, okay, well, I'm getting a heater and filter for Christmas and I will try to get him a bigger tank. Thanks for the tips. Oh, I'm assuming that's a conversation that's been going on. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, what do you dose the plants with? Nothing. <laughs> In fact, I've actually just been doing a video today. I've just been recording it 
and editing it today that will be out the back end of next week about aquarium plants. We don't use fertilizer at all in our, plant, in our tanks, only in the 75 gallon one, which is this one here. And the only reason I do it in that one is because the substrate just doesn't seem to cut it. And obviously we would have to use a lot of root tabs. So with that one, I don't, uh, we do dose, but not a great deal. But with the other plants, all we use are root tabs, which again, we do sell on our website and I can link those in the description box below when we're done with the video. So uh, yeah, root tabs, yeah, that's it. Just root tabs. Um, how do we get the crypts looking like that? <laughs> root tabs that's it and especially in a sand tank because this one does have let me get this this one does have just sand which means there are no nutrients in the water and one of the reasons we did set up this tank was to prove that you can have great looking plants in a tank with sand only using root tabs and the light on this tank is nothing special it is just a cheap led light from amazon and I, like I say, I will leave all the links in the description box below when I load the video so that you can take a look at anything you wanna see. And it's nothing special. It doesn't particularly give out a great deal of light. And yet you can see these plants are just growing like crazy. And um, it's all just been root tabs. I put root tabs in about probably about every other month and I only put two in. So I sort of put two on one side, two on the other side, and that's it. And the same with this tank as well. Now this one does have fluval stratum as the substrate. However, again, it's just root tabs. There's no dosing, just root tabs. So, um, so yeah, I we wanted to keep things simple because we know that most people don't dose tanks or they don't want to get into that. But so that's why we do try and keep it simple because I want people to realize plants are so easy to do. And a lot of the time people think it's really difficult. And I was one of those people, I used to think plants would be so difficult, really complicated. And that's why we've done the video that I've just done. So Jenna and Rats love that tank. Thank you. It does seem to be most people's favorite tank. Um, it does, we get a lot of comments on that one. All right, guys, well, I am gonna end it here. This was just a quick story time and I've got waylaid and doing other stuff as well. I'm um, pretty sure it's Vital Tabs from H2O Plants. Yes, Jenny, they're the ones that we do use and the ones that we sell on our website as well. We have um, a partnership with H2O Plants whereby we can do that. And uh, I highly recommend them because our plants look great. And like I say, we don't do anything special with them. Just the root tabs, just, you know, decent, I say decent lighting, it is cheap lighting, but you know, fairly decent lighting and that's all we do so thank you melody all right guys thank you so much for joining us don't forget to watch out for the giveaway video like i say it'll be up either monday tuesday i'm going to be recording it today and getting it edited and then it'll be up either monday tuesday so all right guys have a great weekend and we will see you in our next video bye guys